Hey, I'm Miguel Silis from Cisco Tag Security Team. Today, I will be walking you through how to configure a Control Plane ACL for a FMC managed FTD. Control Plane ACLs are generally used to block connection attempts from unwanted sources. To configure one, first, in your Firewall Management Center, select Objects, Object Management. Then, from the left panel, expand Access List and select Extended. Click on Add Extended Access List. This will bring up the new Extended Access List object window. In here, type a name for the extended ACL. In this example, I will name it ACL Unwanted IP. And then click the Add button on the upper right hand corner to add an access control entry. Now, Change the action to block and select the network, host, or range you would like to block. Add it to source and then click Add. You can add multiple access control entries if you want. For this example, we will be adding a single entry. Now click Save. In order to apply the Control Plane ACL, you need a FlexConfig object, which can be created in the Object Manage window under FlexConfig, FlexConfig object. Click Add Flex Config Object, give it a name. I will name mine Flex Control Plane ACL, and then insert an ACL policy object. For this, select Insert, Insert Policy Object, Extended ACL Object. Give a name to the ACL object variable. In this example, I will name it var ACL Unwanted IP. Select the extended ACL you previously created, and finally click on the Save button. Then, configure the Control Plane ACL as inbound for the outside or public interface as follows, where $var ACL unwanted IP is the variable you created earlier preceded by a dollar sign and outside is the name of the interface you wish to apply the Control Plane ACL to. Once you're done, click Save. The last step is to head to Devices, Flex Config, if you do not have a FlexConfig policy yet, go ahead and create one by clicking New Policy, then assigning your FTD to it. Otherwise, edit the FlexConfig policy applied to the desired FTD. Then, from the left panel, select the user-defined FlexConfig object you recently created and apply it to the FTD by clicking the arrow. Finally, click Save. You can verify your FlexConfig by clicking Preview FlexConfig and selecting your device. You should see the Control Plane ACL command appended at the bottom of the Preview configuration. To deploy, go to the Deploy button on the top right hand of the FMC. Then click Advanced Deploy, select your FTD, and expand it. This is useful to verify the changes we will be pushing to the FTD. When deploying any Flex Config changes, a warning message will be displayed asking you to make sure that you verify your configuration is correct, since the FMC does not perform extensive validation for your Flex Configs. If you're certain your configuration is correct, proceed to click Deploy again. And that's it. You have implemented a Control Plane ACL. A few important considerations to have are, unlike a normal ACL, there is not an implicit deny at the end of the ACL. It is important to highlight that the configuration changes made do not apply to already established connections to the FTD. Please note that a control plane ACL does not restrict SSH, ICMP, or Telnet inbound to a secure firewall interface. These are processed according to the platform setting policies and have a higher precedence. Contact TAC support if you have any other issues and check the TAC video portal for more. Thanks for watching.